Yep, it's that time again, folks. Time to start thinking about Christmas shopping and all of that. And here's a page from the old Sears catalog in my day. Boy, wouldn't the snowflakes have an absolute heart attack seeing that in the Sears catalog now with all them pellet guns and stuff? Uh, that's the way things were. Anyway, here's the Variant 1 uh, Crossman 760 Power Master. I'm currently partly restoring with a 7061 XL barrel and a Mac 1 seal and piston upgrade kit. So it'll be more accurate and have a little more power. And here's the 760D Pump Master from 98. It's about 30 years newer than the other one. This one shoots fine and everything, but it needs to be cleaned up, cleaned rust off the barrel and junk like that. And here's what it did with Beeman Silver Bears, 177 caliber, uh, 7.1 grain. And H&N uh, Sniper Light here at 7.5 grain. And JSB Exact Express at 7.87 grain. Pretty good with the JSBs and the other one. And a Striker 1000X22 with the uh, Hammers 3 to 9 by 32 AO scope. And here's what it did with Crossman Premier hollow points at 25 yards at Gun Hub. You can see at 25 yards it's grouping pretty well. That one bigger 5 or 6 shotter there is the size of a dime. And here is the chronograph readouts from... Uh, 24.38 grain H&N Hornets. You see it did pretty well, almost 31 FPE. And here's what they look like. And that's about the size barbecue you need to put a small pig on. You shoot with that 22 Hornet. And that ham there is like 15 pounds. Just to give you an idea of the, the size of the animal. And here's the, one of the readouts from the CPHPs. You can study that when, I, when it's on YouTube. The screen will be bigger. Not bad. Pretty decent pellets. I'll show you what each one looks like here. What they actually look like when you get them. And here's from the field target trophy. 14.66 grain. Another one, each and then pellets group really well. Got two of those 500 count tens. And the Beeman Silver Bear at 12.65 grains, same weight as the HN Barracuda Green. Would be good for maybe 20 yards or so. Every, every now and then it wants to give a flyer, seems to me. But you at least need to shoot these at at 10 to 15 yards, 20 probably be good. And the Gamo Platinum PBAs, those are 9.7 grain and 22 caliber, but out of the Striker 1000, they shoot fast. And 18, 19 foot pounds. And here's what they look like. They copied it from the HN uh, Barracuda Green. And speaking of Barracuda Greens, 12.65 grain. Pretty good speed, about the same speed as the FTT in the 25. Barracuda green here is what it looks like. And here's where you basically where you'd have to shoot um, this piggy to get a brain shot. The pellet gun, you got to shoot him in the brain box. The brain would be like if you, but something about the size of a hand grenade. And here is the Benjamin NPXL 725 25 Magnum with the center point 3 to 9 by 40 AO German style mill dot scope. That thing hits hard. And what the FT, H and FTT does, and I got my highest uh, readout with, with the FTTs in that 25. That's some outstanding numbers there. Piggy don't stand a chance. And that's what they look like. King 25s look a lot like that. Slight difference in the dome on them though. And here's the almighty H&N Hornet 25. It's 24.38 grain. 
you're still getting around 31 FPE tops. That's a big pellet. Definitely going to smack that pig good and hard. And the JSB King 25, I got 679, 26 FPE tops. So that's good for something the size of a big coon or possum, badger, uh, chucks, something like that. Very, very consistent from pellet to pellet. These are these things are wonderful for those, that kind of game. And the uh, H&N Silver Point at 20... 24.38 grains, something like that. 20, 23 to 25 foot pounds. That's that's still pretty good. Burkoons and stuff like that are something where you want to smack it real hard. And here is a pig about the right size for the barbecue shop, the 22 there. This one was shot with a Hot Sun Sniper 125, 69 pound. And here's where the pigs are nesting in Ohio. Just thought I'd show you that from the ODNR. The marked in blue. And the rest of the country. So Florida, Texas, and California got it pretty well covered. They're inundated with them blasted garden digging son of a gun. And here's my new logo. I'm, I started uh, getting into repairing and restoring air rifles, particularly pumpers and CO2s, as my speciality. Gravitate towards those for some reason. Enough said here. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. That's what that rifle was for, folks. And my dad always said I looked like Teddy Roosevelt. I don't know. What do you think? I think if I fixed my hair right and trim mustache and smile just right, I would. I would look like him. Kind of look like Panama Jack right here, though. And electric eye, I'll be waiting for you when you come back. <laughs>